the first thing you want to do if you're using the EPN cart is configure the settings and for that you'll go to the drop down menu select EPN cart config and then click go the first thing you'll notice is the tax settings which allows you to set the state in which you need to collect sales tax and the rate that you need to collect if you do not need to collect sales tax select none in the state province drop down once you're done updating the tax settings you click update tax settings and you're done the accept comment section allows you to give customers the option to enter a comment regarding the transaction while entering their credit card information all you have to do is select the accept comments checkbox and enter the text that describes the comment field to the cardholder while they're going through the checkout process when you're done click update comment settings the shipping methods allow you to define shipping methods to be offered to your customers during checkout to set the number of methods to offer enter the desired number and click change shipping methods you also have a checkbox that allows you to multiply the shipping costs times the number of items that are being sold this is especially useful for merchants who are selling larger items and require separate shipping enter the description and cost of each method and then click the update shipping methods button one thing to note here is you can have as many shipping methods as you would like eProcessing Network also offers an optional service which integrates real-time shipping rates to the United States Postal Service this allows your customers to enter their zip code and get real-time rates for shipping if you have enabled your account for this service you will see this option here you would select the domestic services required here on this column on the left and if you're shipping internationally you'll want to investigate the options on the right column now what each individual service does is out of the scope of this video and we recommend that you go to the United States Postal Service website for additional information if you have this service you'll enter your zip code here and any additional handling fees to be tacked on top of the shipping rates then you would click update USPS settings once you've configured these options you're ready to use the eProcessing Network shopping cart